So by the definition of multiplication, um, the first number means the number of groups. So in, in multiplication, we have number of groups times number of units in one group or in each group equals the total number of units in th these many groups. OK, so a division problem comes from a multiplication problem. So in this case, we have total number of units, which is 8, and 4 divided by 4. So 4 could be one of these two numbers. So 4 could be 4 groups. Then we're solving for the other number, which means how many units in one. But 4 could also be the number of units. Then we're solving for the number of groups. So what times 4 equals 28? So there will be two types of division problems. So teacher divide 28 pencils equally among four students. And how many pencils does each student get? So that means <clears throat> we are solving for the second number, how many in one. So when you come up with word problems um, for divisions, if they're both whole numbers, you can. And also, 28, uh, 4 does go into 28. So you could um, pick something, um, just any objects, people, um, objects. So you, you could uh, pick total number of units, could be pencils. Um, and uh, I'm going to use a different color pencils. And then um, four here could either be four students um, as the number of groups or four pencils. So four pencils in um, pen units here, I picked pencils. So, um, so the group, I picked uh, students, students as groups in one student, which means every student gets that. So once you decide, so again, when you come up with word problems for division, you have to pick something for the units. You have to pick something for the groups. Once you determine what your units are, what your groups are, you can come up with a word problem. So I, we have 28 pencils, the units, and the four could be four students. So we have four students. And then the question will be, how many pencils in each student? Or if we have um, 28 still, 28 doesn't change, it's still 28 units, which means 28 pencils. But four will change it to four pencils in each student. And then how many students will get pencils? Or you, you could say, how many groups can we, uh, can we get? So if we just divide here, this, in my second question, I didn't use students. I just called it, I just kept the original word, uh, groups. So we divide 28 pencils into uh, groups of four, which means every group has four, four pencils in each group. So how many groups can we get?